Okay, uh, here at the Cowbridge Kitchen, I am a great believer in being able to make anything. Full stop. Anything you can buy in a shop, a takeaway, a restaurant, an um, Indian Chinese fish shop, anywhere you can buy food, I can make it. And I can show you how to make it. I'm going to prove this point today by making an authentic Donna kebab. Just like you're going to get in a kebab shop or a chip shop. No special equipment. This is how you make a Donna kebab and this is going to rival any kebab you can buy in a shop. Okay, all you're going to need is a slow cooker and some basic ingredients. Let me show you how to put this together. So, the ingredients we're going to need for this kebab, we're going to want some um, minced lamb, okay? And we're going to use 500 grams of um, fresh minced lamb. Um, what we're going to need then is some mint, uh, about 10, 10 grams of this mint, okay? And this is fresh mint um, because it just tastes better. So we're going to chop this mint up. Um, we've got some lazy garlic. You'll want one teaspoon of lazy garlic. You are going to want one teaspoon of um, some chopped red chilli paste, okay? You can use chilli flakes if you want. You can use chilli powder, but I'm using chopped red chilli flakes. Um, and you're going to want about a teaspoon of black pepper, just a sprinkling of salt, half a teaspoon. And then you're going to want two teaspoons of oregano or oregano. Um, and you're going to want two teaspoons of rosemary. And we're going to get all of that mixed together. And we're going to get it into a meatloaf. We're going to turn that lamb into a, a lamb meatloaf and cook it in a slow cooker. Okay, let me show you how to get this together. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to need to chop up our mint, okay? So we've got our fresh mint, and like I said, you want about 10 grams of it or so. But just guess, get yourself a nice bunch of this broken off. About that much, probably. With a knife then, chop this up. Into nice small pieces. Okay, so from here on in, it's all pretty straightforward stuff, okay? We're just going to get our ingredients into a mixing bowl and we're going to combine it all together. We're going to get our lamb in there and we're going to make up that meatloaf. First of all, what we need to do though is to get our slow cooker on. So, what we're going to do with this, we're going to pop our slow cooker and we're going to pop it onto high, okay? Um, and we're going to cook this on high in the slow cooker for four hours. If you want to cook it for longer, you can cook it for six to eight hours on low, but we're going to do high. Okay, let's get all of our ingredients in this bowl and let's get this meatloaf made.
lamb meatloaf uh, doner kebab is cooking in the uh, slow cooker, it's going to take four hours, you can get all your veg prepped. So you're going to want to do your red onions, uh, cucumbers, tomatoes, um, lettuce, stuff like that. Maybe then make a nice yoghurt and mint sauce to go with it, um, or maybe even a chilli sauce, or why not both. Um, whenever I go for a kebab, I have the lot. So spend this time now getting that stuff prepped, and then we can, uh, we can put the kebab together. there or about our um, doner kebab um, lamb roll is uh, pretty much cooked now we've just checked it uh, in the uh, slow cooker and it's ready so what we're going to do now is whip that out get it rolled in some tin foil and let it rest for about 10 minutes while we get the pita bread and all the salad that we made earlier all ready to go we can pack it up and eat it up okay so let's get this bad boy out of there Beautiful. So what we'll do now is we'll wrap this up in the tin foil to keep the heat in. Just fold it over. And we'll leave that to rest. Okay, so with our doner kebab and meatloaf cooled down in the tin foil here. It's been cooling down there for about 10 minutes or so. We've got all of the other stuff out now, all of our veg and our sauces. We're going to cut open some pita bread, we're going to get them under the grill, um, and I'm going to show you how to slice this so you get a nice authentic doner kebab. Okay, so with our pita bread um, toasting under the grill now, what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a nice sharp knife and we're just going to slice pieces off this kebab roll now, okay? Um, nice and thin, so we'll hopefully wind up with something that looks like an authentic doner kebab meat. <laughs> <laughs> 